Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kiss Jin and welcome to my channel. Today I'm channeling Tiffany vibes, Tiffany from the Chucky series. I think she's one badass bitch and I'm really excited to be her. Subscribe to my channel and if you want to watch me transform into all this, then keep on watching. Oh my god, I feel like I look like an egg. <laughs> I hate when there's no definition to my face. <laughs> I already got started with this look. I did my foundation, I did my concealer, I did my setting powder, I'm baked, and I'm ready to go. I just like didn't wanna film me doing all that stuff because I just feel like we all know how to do that. Hopefully we all know how to do our base, right? The first thing I wanna start out with is I'm gonna do my lips. I've said this before, and I'll say it again, I hate bare lips and I hate looking at them when I'm editing these videos. So my girl Tiffany, she's got black lipstick on and I'm all about it. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna line my lips. I'm using this real cheap black pencil by Wet n Wild. Girl, you can create these looks on a budget. So when doing your little Cupid's bow part, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's like pointy and it looks like an M because her lips, girl, are fierce. I feel like her lips kind of come out to a point at the end, so I am kind of just bringing it out a little bit. So for lipstick, I am using this black lipstick. It is by, by Rimmel. This is their Stay Matte Liquid Color. I got this a few months ago at Ulta and it was on clearance and it was 97 cents. So hopefully this is a nice formula. So that lipstick took some finessing. Like first of all, it goes on a little bit streaky and I had to like wait for it to dry down a little bit, go on with another layer. It wasn't like getting the edges perfect so I had to like go through with some concealer and like make it fucking perfect and that was kind of annoying. Do I recommend this lipstick? No, like there's a reason why this shit was on clearance. Good thing I only spent a dollar because that's all that this shit was worth. I'm kind of feeling like, you know, a black lipstick. Like, I kind of feel like I need one in my life. I need one in my collection. The next step in this Tiffany look is the brows. Probably should cover my brows, but I don't really feel like doing that today. It's like, takes so long and I just don't want to do it. Her eyebrows are black and they're fierce and I don't want to go in that crazy quite yet. I'm gonna just kind of underline them with this brown pencil and then I'll go through with the black and make them real fierce, so. Right here are my natural arches. I'm trying to like arch it up higher because Tiffany just looks like she's pissed off, like she wants to kill some people because she is gonna kill some people. Now it's probably safe to go in with the black pencil. So I'm just gonna use this Ciante London Wonderland pencil. I think I got this in like an Ipsy or something. So I feel like I can get way more like precise if I use like a gel liner. So I'm gonna use my pretty vulgar gel liner. It's like a little paint pot thing. I'm looking real crazy with these brows and black lipstick, but it's time to move on. I'm gonna contour my face, and I am gonna use my busted ass Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Like, I should probably buy a new one, but like, there's still stuff on the sides that I can use, okay? So like, I'm gonna use this until there's nothing left. First, I'm gonna go in with this cool tone color right here, with this little brush right here. And we're gonna get started on the nose. And I haven't mastered nose contouring yet. Like, I just wanna be like James Charles. Like, his shit is so snatched. I'm like, sis, teach me. Teach me, sister. So that nose contour, it is okay. It is decent at best. So now I wanna like define this area. Let me just go back in with this pencil back into this cool colored contour color. I guess I should just smile and contour this area. Okay, so if you watched my doll tutorial thing, I kind of like went and like defined the cheeks. 
And I'm going to do that same thing. I'm just going in with this whatever fucking brush. I'm going to contour my cheeks a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. So usually I would get like my little bronzer out. But I don't want to be super bronzy. So I'm just going to go in with this color and this brush. And give my face some shade. You know, I'm just figuring this out as I go, like with every look, like I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do this, but let's just, you know, let's make it work, hoes. Gotta get that jawline, you know, because I got a fat face, so I gotta make it look like I'm, I got a little jaw. So now I want to define this contour a little bit more, so I'm going to go in with this darker color over here and just blend it over here make it look like I got fucking cheeks that are not super fat you know I'm not really sure if she's wearing blush or not but I just want to add some blush like just a little bit nothing too crazy so I'm gonna go in with this Tarte blush and it is called party <laughs> but I'm just gonna put it here just a little bit this is a lighter color it's like a dusty rose I would say Okay, that's good. So it's like not too crazy, but I'll like, you can see it there. And here comes little Francie to come say hello. Come through. Oh, my little Francie, don't lick my face, I'm doing it. I swear to you, my dog, all she likes to do is fucking like everything. Like, Francie, you're gonna lick my makeup off. Uh, Francie, you look in my eye. Francie! Just say hello to YouTube and be on your way. Be on your way. I'm gonna like clean this up a little bit, just like you know, that's what I always do in any kind of like bronzing, contouring, all that shit. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder. I am in shade 110 Porcelain. So I'm just gonna like dust it over here, dust it over here, and then a little dusting over here, and then a little bit over here. Now I look like I got some cheeks up in this beer. So homegirl Tiffany, she's got a smoky eye. It's black, it's smoky, like we're gonna take it there. So I don't even know where to start. Like should I smear some black eyeliner around? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean like the using this um, Makeup Forever pencil, I'm just gonna put it in my waterline and then put it around my eye and just like smear it all crazy like I'm an emo kid. Because at one point in my life, I was an emo kid. <laughs> Cut my wrist and black my eyes. Trying to like bring it down underneath the waterline as well. And we're gonna smear it. I'm trying to get this on the top too. I'm trying to make, just take this little like flat brush and just smear it. Now I'm gonna work on the eyeshadow. Palette that I'm gonna use today is by Morphe. It's the 35P. This has like, you know, everything that I need in it. Like it has like a nice little black in it. It has some brown tones, some purple tones. So it's like one and done, honey. I am gonna start off with this, I guess this like light color here. And just go underneath my brown. Now we're gonna make it a little bit darker. We'll go in with, hmm, I guess this color right here. These like, this eyeshadow palette's like their older palettes and they don't ever name these pose. Stop licking yourself! It's disgusting! I hate that sound! <sighs> don't you hate that when you're done? I hate when I'm sleeping in the middle of the night and I wake up and then all I hear is from your dog, from my dog. And every night it's almost, I'm like, bitch, cut it out. I can't handle it, I can't. Okay, that's enough with the brown. So I think I'm gonna go in with some perps and then we'll go in with some blacks and then we'll blend it all together and it'll look so fabulous. And what purple do I wanna use? I'm gonna start with this one right here. It's more like a maroony color, but we're just building shit up, you know? This one, perhaps, this one? That one right there, that's the one I'm using. We're getting somewhere, but this needs to be darker. More purplier. Let's go in with this color right here. I'm just blending this all over here. Just going back and forth, doing circular motions. Just blend, girl, blend. This looks, like, looks a little sloppy at the moment, but like it's gonna get there. 
I'm trying to bring up the eyeshadow kind of high because she has it kind of high. I think it's time to add the black all over the lid. I'm just gonna use my finger because fuck it. It's like the first time I've ever used this black. I don't ever really wear black eyeshadow. So when I got this other brush, it kind of has like a little flat head. I'm gonna go into the black, blend it around the lid more. I bring it up here. So the black, it's packed on there pretty well. I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna go in with this one. At the edge of the black, just kind of blend it in with everything else you put down in the transition area. Now, I gotta do some, you know, underneath shading. Go in with this purple right there. With a smaller blending brush and just go right underneath the lash line right here. So I want to have some glow going on, like, it's just me, I want to glow, okay? So I have this little Smashbox uh, highlight palette, and I'm just going to go in this first color right here, like the lightest one. And this one's like not like super glowy. I'm going to give myself an eyebrow highlight. For mascara, I'm using this It Superhero Mascara. That I got in my boxy charm, and like we don't have to go too crazy with the lashes because I'm gonna throw some fake ones on anyway. So I got my lashes on. I feel like I'm looking fierce. Now I just need to do like a mole. And you know what? I like seen, I was looking at pictures, and like some of them have them, and then some of them don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just for like a little like extra accessory. So I'm just gonna get this um, Essence liquid liner. I'm gonna go do all the final touches, change my outfit, put a wig on, and I'll be right back. There we have it. Final look. Tiffany, about to kill some bitches, about to stab your ass. I think it turned out cute. I think the wig really makes it. Every look, I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed. But it's true. I am. For today. I'm super in love with this Halloween look. It was so fun to do. I really need to pick out one of these looks that I've done to actually wear out because all this stuff that I film, I spend a few hours here doing the makeup and then I usually do it at night and then I just wash it off and go to sleep. And these looks need to be seen, honey. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a like and um, don't know what I'll be doing next, but yeah. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.